Today, let's make a corner bookmark that looks like a fox. If you're reading in a book and you need to mark the place where you last stopped, you can just take your corner bookmark and slip it on the lower corner of the page. For this project, we'll need an orange sheet of origami paper and a bunch of white shapes. We'll need a glue stick and a pair of scissors and a black felt tip pen. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the paper clip and set aside the white shapes and work just with our origami paper. So what we want to do first is fold up one corner to meet the opposite corner. Make a nice crisp crease. Okay, and then we'll take this corner and fold it up to the top corner. Make another nice crisp crease and do the same with the other side. Okay, once we've made our folds, we're going to open these two flaps back up. Okay, take the top corner, just one, one piece, and fold it down to the bottom corner. Okay, make our crease. And then fold up our two flaps again. This next step is a little tricky. We're going to want to make a fold that goes from this middle part. And we want this particular edge to be straight up and down. Okay, as much as possible, make it straight up and down and then make your crease. Do the same with the other side. Again, that outside edge, you want it to be up and down, vertical, as much as possible. And then make your crease. Okay, next, we're going to just tuck it into the pocket that we made earlier. Okay, just like that. Tuck it in nice and snug and fold it down. And do the same thing with the other side. And those are our two ears of our fox. Okay, now we're done with the origami portion of this project. We're going to get our white shapes and we're going to go ahead and cut them out. Okay, we're gonna fast forward here, but if you're doing this, you wanna take your time and carefully cut along the black lines. So when you're done cutting, you're going to end up with four shapes, two curvy ones and two triangles. Okay, let's glue the curvy ones first. So we're going to take our glue stick, get some glue on the back of that piece. And we're gonna glue it onto our bookmark That'll be the face of our fox. Okay, 
Then we're gonna take the other piece and do the same thing for the other side of our fox's face. Next, we'll take a triangle, get some glue on it. And glue it onto our fox's ear. And do the same thing for the other side. And we're almost done with our corner bookmark. Last thing we need to do is to get our felt tip marker. And we're gonna draw the eyes on our fox. Oh, a little crooked. And try to fix that. Maybe you'll be more careful and your fox eyes will be more symmetrical. And then we're going to take our felt tip marker and draw in the nose. Okay, once that's done, then our fox bookmark is ready to go. You can use it to mark the place where we stop reading in a book, just like this.